Okay, we're the Giza Pyramids, a single build. Okay, here's a top view of the Great Pyramid, and these are the so-called boat pits. But they're not boat pits. Boats were never found there. They're trenches. What were these trenches used for? Okay, so here's a side view of the trenches. All right, so we're going to put a lubricated cedar of Lebanon on top of each one. A bunch of cedar of Lebanon was imported into uh, Old Kingdom Egypt. A bunch of records of that. Okay, now we're going to put a wheel in there, a three-diameter rolling spindle, okay? And it's going to have a mechanical advantage of pi, 3.14 to 1. Okay, and then there's the outer wheel, which is going to use to develop leverage. It's 13.33 meters in the circumference, by the way. That's the diameter, too. Okay, so here are the ropes that we're going to get that leverage with. Okay, now here's a top view of what we're looking at. So we see the two, you know, cedar logs we're going to roll over. This is, uh, there's the trench there. And so here's our mechanism right there. There's the ropes, and that's where it's going to roll. All right, this is our building mechanism right here. Here we go. All right. The, the drum wheel spindle rotates 14 times along this lubricated timber. All right, so here's the east face of the Great Pyramid. How are we going to levitate this block up the pyramid? Are we going to use sound waves? That's not how the pyramids were built. Sorry, how are we going to levitate this thing? Okay, well, first of all, we're just going to use the, these, uh, the, the mechanical uh, devices we just showed you. There they are down there, okay? And so there's the uh, pulley system that they're going to use. They used all different kinds of pulley-like structures. Okay, so there we go. So by pulling on these ropes, a number of men would get the, those ones would be going that way, and that would lead these ropes to go up. And that's how you're going to levitate your block. All right, so let's look at this from the north side. Okay, so over here you've got the, the, our wheel in the trench system going there. So it's uh, these guys are pulling it, so there it's doing its work. All right, so now you... Put in that rope leverage and the blocks are hauled up the platform. Okay, there we go. And the sledge angle meets, uh, matches the face angle of the Great Pyramid just to make it easier. All right, so here are the ropes used in lifting the blocks. And interestingly enough, their length is 186.6 meters. Okay, that's interesting because that's a scale of the reference to the, to the speed of light. 186,000 uh, meters on each drum and the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. Wow, interesting. But there's more, okay? What's also interesting is that length is the length of the Great Pyramid of Potham, the side up which those blocks are going to go right there. That is 356 royal cubits. And that's the speed of light. Oh my goodness, could this be done? Okay, let's look at a side view now. Here's the elevation view of the whole plateau. So I'm going to save you all the calculations my engineer Bob Criley did, but this is physically possible, okay? So basically the lifting takes place first, as we just showed in Khufu. And then from there, it's all downhill. We use cedar timbers, and so it's much easier to move blocks down. And so we go uh, from Khufu, we we're going all the way down to Khafre, and from Khafre to Menkara. Bingo. Now, of course like all speculations on the pyramid building, this is possible. This is truly physically possible. But we don't really know how they did it, but they could have done this. The Mysteries of Egypt.